the Austin Edge, live and local. Good day, Austin. Well, more and more couples are having plastic surgery done together. And of course, this is the time of year most people choose to go under the knife. The holidays have got the time down, you know, the downtime. And here to talk about this is Seton's Dr. Jennifer Walden. She's a plastic surgeon back in her hometown, Austin. Mm -hmm. You uh, had a Manhattan stint for a while. Now you're back. That's right. So talk about this. We've been hearing about the for holiday gifts. People are saying, honey, I really like a little nip and tuck or a facelift here. I mean, these are expensive gifts. Right. Well, m more couples are getting plastic surgery procedures, likely because of a, a big rise in males seeking plastic surgery, mm. an 88% increase since 1997 in male plastic surgery procedures. So men are wanting to keep up with looking really good, just like their wives have been doing for years with health and beauty treatments. There's a lot of direct-to-consumer advertising to men, not, men now for skin care, health, and beauty. So what do you think it is? Because it's more affordable, more accessible, maybe more acceptable. <laughs> it's more affordable, uh -huh. accessible, more stars on TV are getting cosmetic beauty treatments together. Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt, they're getting things done. Mm -hmm. Beyonce, Jay-Z, uh, David and Victoria Beckham. And yeah. so it, it's just become more accepting right. of males seeking plastic surgery. And they're trying to stay competitive in the workplace as well, too. Oh, competitive in the workplace. Okay, give us some examples of treatments. Are we talking something easy like fillers and Botox? or the whole shebang facelift? Well, all of the above. It's quite common for couples to seek minimally invasive treatments together like Botox, laser, fillers. But a lot of couples that are aging together want to stay looking younger a longer time, so they seek facelifts. The woman tends to go in for surgery first, about a week before, and then the man will go in and she'll help coach him through the recovery really? period. Really? Yeah. So you've seen this. Have you had patients do yeah, this together? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's quite common. Other procedures are liposuction, eyelid lift, brow lift, but facelift is a big one. What is the most common? The most common procedure for couples seeking plastic surgery is usually liposuction for a younger demographic mm -hmm. and then facelifting for the older demographic. And then do, is the most common procedure, is it differ from men to women? It, well, what yes. Uh, women do get body contouring and breast procedures. Right. Uh -huh. Obviously, men are not going to be doing that. They may be doing more eyelid lift, facelift, okay. and liposuction procedures. Okay, so it's more acceptable, uh, acceptable guys. Joe is here. Joe's being very quiet I mean, I mean, over here. I, I'm the guinea pig. You know, in, in the break, I will give you credit because you asked Dr. Walden, okay, so what do you think? And I'm, you know, I, I told well, you, I watch what you ask you know, for. It's not like seeing a doctor somewhere and saying, gee, I got the, you know, so we thought it'd be funny. Right. I got a 63-year-old face that's never had anything done. Now, the question was if we had time on this morning that, show that to cover this. Point. But, Joe, um, basically what I would recommend, if you started out with minimally invasive treatments, something mm -hmm. like Botox to your crow's feet, yeah. some fillers here, but truly, truly, I think you could benefit from a neck lift here in a facelift which could clean up that jawline and lift the skin and keep you looking like a 45 year old doing the <gasps> nose. Okay. Look at, and what's the downtime for that? The downtime for a surgical procedure is going to be more like 10 to 14 days that you'd be out of the public eye. And well, that's for, not bad. I thought it would be more than No, it, you could do that. And then uh, for the Botox and fillers, you could come back to work the next day. That's easy. Yeah. Okay. More doable. More doable. There hey, you have you it. can do anything with makeup. Yeah. <laughs> 45. I kind of like that idea. Joe. <laughs> Maybe Mary Kay hasn't get, gotten your gift yet. Oh, yeah, I'll, Merry Christmas. I'll tell her when I get back there, guess what? <laughs> Facelift. Okay. So that, tell us, do fun. we, when, if we're interested in this, do we meet with you and your staff first for a consultation? Right. I mean, and there are many qualified plastic surgeons in this town, and so you would want to go to a board-certified plastic surgeon who does it, these procedures and um, can you feel comfortable with, can show you some before and after pictures, examples of their work. Okay. And a doctor that you feel comfortable with, board certified. Exactly. Do your homework. Thanks so much, Jennifer Thank you Walden, so much. Here with a Seat Medical Center. She's a plastic surgeon over there, and we have more information on our website. Thank you. Thank Happy you. Happy holidays to you. To you too. Well, stick around from.